So what you want to do is you want to loot. Draw a card, discard a card, draw a card, discard a card. You want to bin Emrakul. Then in response to the Emrakul trigger that makes it shuffle, you want to cast Reenact the Crime, exiling Emrakul or Troxa, and then cast it for free without paying its mana cost. So you get to take an extra turn by casting Emrakul. You get to obviously get your Troxa trigger. And you also have the combo of Rona, Mox Amber, Retraction Helix. So you can loop those and then loop to Emrakul and hard cast Emrakul. Is this hand even good? I guess, because it's one card away from comboing. They're non foil, that's tough. Ragavan, Mox Amber, Mox Amber Mirror. I guess I'm going to preordain. Yeah, no, we 14 0 because we 4 0 the prelim today as well. We were on a hot streak with Gorios. It's insane. That deck cannot seem to lose. Troxa. Yeah, holy Giga Chad, right? I think that's probably the longest win streak I've ever had with any deck ever. I'm trying to think back. I don't think even Scam got to those numbers. I think Scam got to like 9. Yeah, solo to GP. Mm hmm. Book, book. Discard a Troxa. X to doubt. I got it all on video. And go back in the bottom check. Mm -hmm. Reenact the crime seems kind of hard to cast. Two trophies and a prelim. Dub. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the damage. You got it. Now they have cookbook inti. Which is also a tragedy. Gorios would be a good top deck. I think it would win me the game. They have 14 paid actors. You hear that, Danny? You're a paid actor. You hear that trophy leader RVNG? You're a paid actor. You hear that Tarmogoyf? You're a paid actor. I need a Mox Amber. What's the play here? Is it... You hear that Tarmogoyf? You're a paid actor. I think it's just Rona, right? Because then I'll set up the kill next turn. Nobody expects for horror. And then I gotta kill Goyf now? Maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna pass. Because they could discard something into Cookbook and grow the Tarma Goyf, and if they do that, then I'm in danger. Yeah, Goyos is cracked. At least that's my two cents. That's true, I should have kept yeah, I should have done the food now. Discard Vorhar. Oh well, what's done is done. Oh, cookbook would have blown me out. They had Underwood Breach. Oh wait, they discarded Underworld Breach? I guess there's nothing good. Trample Goyf. Yeah, cookbook was gonna blow me out then. Good to know. Trample Goyf, yep. Mm. 
Nah, they had the bolt. Okay, well, they would have bolted my face and killed me. Ren ping plus Tarmogoyf attack plus bolt would have killed me. Tough game. Fatal push? Um... Do I want Ashiok? Ashok might be fine. Needle for Ren. This is my first game with Reenact. So far, Reenact seems expensive. Minus style points. I do not know how to board with combo decks like this. Maybe down, down, down. It is crazy storming out there. Lots of thunder. I'm going to keep this hand because it's just missing Atroxa or Emrakul. Pretty good other than that, though. Do we have a blue-black surveil land? We do, right? Under city sewers. Hoping to see Atroxa and not Emrakul here. Okay. Spinning a land's fine, too. Which one do I want bolted? Probably Vorhar. Not as good as Rona. It's definitely going to get bolted, though. Heated, whatever. I don't know. This card doesn't seem very good. It is 1-2, at least. Prismatic Vista. I understand why it's in the deck. I don't know if I agree with it though. I guess time will tell. If I have to Gorios and Asmo, I'm gonna be so sad. Obviously, if Rona survives, then I can like loot. Oh, Rona's gonna survive. I could loot and play Asmo and get Cookbook. And then loot again, right? Because this is Legendary Spell. I was kind of just expecting Rona to die. She kind of has a knack for dying. Exile's another Renin 6. Emrakul. Gorios. I guess you can Gorios back Vorhar as well. It's so janky. Loot time. I should play the land first in case I hit Emrakul reenact. Um. I guess discard an Asmo. Well, I can chain Asmo, chain Asmo. That'll give me two more loots. Alright, let's discard a Gorios. Untap, get cookbook, gives us something to loot away. It's possible that they have endurance in hand. Because they're not on Gigantha. Shit. Well, show me endurance. Could not show me endurance. Could not survive. Alright, gemstone caverns over one Urza saga and maybe Dark Slick Shores, let's say. Still don't really know how to board in this matchup. Just gonna run it back after that change. Maybe Urza Saga is just too good. I don't want to maximize my copies of those. Well, this hand's insane. And they don't have discard spells either. So they need, like, artifact hate. Or, uh, sorry, graveyard hate in the form of a one mana artifact. Or endurance. Well, 
I was gonna leave this in. Like, I was thinking of a corner case scenario where I'm like hard casting a Troxa. I don't even know if you can hard cast a Troxa with this. That's why I left the breeding pool in. I don't even think I can hard cast a Troxa. Yeah, you can't. Never mind. I should take it out of the breeding pool. I was thinking there was a white source also. Gemstone was kind of a weak draw. Are leading on Saga? Is there a reason to lead on Saga? Except for getting forced. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to lead on Saga. I can't afford to get forced like that. That's true. If I have Atroxa in play already, and then I play Mox Amber, then I can hard cast Atroxa using Breeding Pool, Watery Grave, Mox Amber, plus Island. Goof. You done goof, opponent. Can't believe it's just like died here. Maybe. They might have um endurance. They have sixth. Okay, here's my Atroxa. Rona as the creature. Cookbook as the artifact. Elix. No, I guess I want Gorios, right? Preordain. Urza Saga. Swamp. Okay. Attack you. I can discard something to cookbook, but not before I preordain first. Fatal push breeding pool. I think I'm cool with a fatal push here. And I'm going to discard gemstone caverns. Make a free food, he's also gonna have to discard anyways. And then I think I'm binning Rona. So I could see a situation where I Gorio's back Rona. Maybe. It might come up. Kind of a corner case scenario. We kind of whiffed off that Atroxa, huh? So the combo is Rona plus Retraction Helix plus Mox Amber lets you loot through your entire deck plus gives you infinite mana. Or sorry, not loot, but it gives you infinite mana. Or you can choose the loot at the end. Um, second Gorios, I think I'm just I'm gonna play this thing, and and then I'm going to fatal push Goyf and play cookbook. Push Goyf with my Mox Amber mana. So they still don't have three card or four card types, so they don't have DRC as a 3-3. Three, three. If they have another Ren, they could like ping, ping. But I have to imagine they have like a bolt or something in hand. Some spot removal. Yeah, we were running very, very hot with Gorius Atroxa. Not this build, but the other one. Swing, swing. So if I block here, they're going to ping, but I'm trading this for DRC. And I could probably just take over the game with the Urza Saga tokens. Hey, I'll trade. Whoosh. These Saga tokens are going to be massive. Push. 
I think their deck is like super fair and doesn't really do that much. Oh, it's Seismic Assault. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. If I draw a payoff, they're dead to Gorios. She. He can't keep getting away with it. I do it now. Can I reenact the crime instead? Mm -mm, not enough blue mana. Not even close, honestly. Okay, well, I'm gonna make him have it. Endurance, that is. I can also splice. How much is it to splice? Three? It's too expensive. Why wasn't it two? Champion of the Parish? Hello? Modern is healing? Oh my god, I thought this was a Dark Slick Shores chat. Look at how similar these look. I thought this was a Dark Slick Shores. Holy shit. I gotta change that. <laughs> nice full arts, idiot. Well, now I'm bidding it. Ah, it works in paper. Dark Slick Shores Go. <laughs> Are these by the same artist? Nope. Devastated. Cookbook Asmo. Okay, maybe I'm a little less devastated now. One of the punts of all time. Might not matter. Urza Saga and your humans deck? Let's go. I'm team opponent. Elni. Delni. Denli. I don't know this thing's name. Take seven. Kill them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bit. I can also thought seize them too. Unsettled Mariner, old control. <laughs> or humans player suffering or moto also suffering I can just feel the leg just growing stronger with each minute motos open how many times are I realistically comboing Maybe quite a bit in the matchup. Maybe less thought seizes. Plus one retraction helix. Man, your reenact deck is looking real good, Gorios, I mean. Yeah. Ah. Somebody tell me to mulligan this hand because I'm not going to. Because if I rip a land off the top, I get to go turn one Rona, turn two, kill you. <laughs> Fuck it, Sneep. Mold is trash. One land, dingo don't do it. For the content. For the content. Relic on one. Shit. Nope. Nobody could have prepared us for the relic on one. Well, I mean, if I draw Mox Amber, I need to draw Land Mox Amber. 
content created, Dingo Mulligan. Content created though. We knew what we signed up for. One one. Two more one ones. Is this winnable? I don't think this is winnable. Not uh, yeah, no, this isn't winnable. Jendrick stomped the energy locals yesterday on blue white Narset. I believe that. He's been playing that deck for a minute now. No longer on blue red controller Merc died. Shadow Spear. Saga Humans is crazy. The most ambitious crossover. You may draw. I should have shuffled more. Yeah. I think I'm going to bin Vohar at the end step. Untap, discard Asmo. Discard, comma, Asmo. Eat Esper Sentinel. I should have mana weaved more. Here comes the mana weave Reddit discourse again. Even Nikachu was in on that discourse. He like made an entire video about it. Discard Gorios, play Asmo. Delete Esper Sentinel. I have Tide Binder. Uh, Reflector Mage, of course. Well, I'm going to delete Esper Sentinel still. Over the Thalys Lieutenant. I just don't think I can afford to have them keep drawing. I mean, I don't think I'm going to win this game anyways, but we can believe. I don't think I play out the other cookbook right now. Well, maybe I was supposed to. I'm not sure what I want to discard yet. I need to needle this relic. That's what I need to do. I don't even think I'm bored in my needle. I'm going to board in my needle though. And probably my haywire might. Bring that breeding pool back in. This is a whole new modern. It's certainly something unique. Let's say, five shadow spear. All right, back it in. I could probably technically survive a turn, but I survey a land pog. That's that's not the survey a land. That's the dark slick shores. Okay, I mean the sand's kind of cracked. Survey land, Urza Saga, Rona, discard, lose to relic. Oh, I forgot to, oh, I'm so dumb. I changed the lands, I did not change these two. Dumbsh, all right, whatever. We don't need them.
Eh, graveyard. Yeah, I don't know about Urza Saga in this list, but I get why it's in here. Finding cookbooks really, really strong. And you have like this random Mox Amber combo on the side too. I can't believe I forgot to bring in the Haywire Might and the Pithy Needle. Uh, I talked about it and everything. Smoge. March My Saga. Also Smoge. Asper Sentinel. Book Book. I'm just going to play cookbook and pass here. Our hand is kind of very clunky. Although if we hit land, maybe we're okay. I don't know what kind of interaction they have in creature form. Champ, champ. Lieutenant? Oh, Mariner. Sure. Honestly, this is looking pretty beatable. Oh. Well. How do you do, Gorio's Vengeance? Can even pay for Asper Sentinel as well. One, two, three, six. So they probably keep these two. And just try to, like, beat me down on the crackback. If I do Emrakul, if I do Atroxa, uh, is that better? Smack him, um, find land, set up, reenact the crime for next turn. Discard Emrakul, reenact the crime. Try to hit Amber. I kind of like Atroxa, right? I think Atroxa is better here. Because then next turn they just explode to uh, this. No Mox Amber. Gorios ever reenact the crime. Amber cool. Cookbook. Saga as enchantment. Misty Rainforest. Onk. Hi, Troxa. I guess I should have discarded one of these as food, huh? Can I have the back of Brona? What do I lose to in one draw step? I couldn't cast Reenact until the next turn, right? That was my turn three. But it does give me an extra turn, yes. One three. Maybe I can bait them to playing a human this way. Ooh, Helix. Alright, I kind of want to reenact them. Cool. Just to feel something, you know? It's probably better just to Gorios it. I should just Gorios it. Because then I can pay for Esper Sentinel. Yeah, I think Gorios is still better though, even though it's bad to reflect your mage. I can just do the same thing next turn, right? Even if they do have reflect your mage. I guess I can't cast it. That's actually really funny. I couldn't cast a card named Embercool. Is that how that works? 
So if I reenacted Emrakul, I wouldn't be able to cast it. That's actually very funny. That's an interaction that's probably never going to come up again. Have you died? You have died. Just like a two ship sailing in the night matchup. But they have endurance, so. Well, some lists have endurance. I'm going to mulligan this as well. This is a Dark Slick Shores, right? Yes. This hand has a fucking plan, chat. Yeah, I imagine it's probably die roll. You can see my two card hand. If they spell pierce me, I die in real life. If they thought sees me, I also die. Tank, 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 tank. I think they're playing Living End. Or Rhinos. Ben and them. Ben and them. They could do it on their end step. Yeah, fuck it. I don't care. I could do it on their end step, though. I want to play around Force Negation. Yeah, if they're not playing Rhinos and I wait until their end step, they could have, like, Counterspell if they're playing Merc Died, for example. I don't entirely know what they're playing. I also get the Thought Seize them here. That's just so disgusting. Refilled back up to six cards. Seems good. I think I'm going to Thought Seize them. I could like hold this Thought Seize and do the same trick I just did. But the chances of it working again are so slim that I think I just Thought Seize them and try to disrupt their game plan. And then win with like Urza Saga. They are Rhinos. I think the 7 damage is still going to matter, right? Because if we go on the Urza Saga plan, then the damage becomes re very, very relevant. And with our hand currently, looks like we might be on that. I don't really care about Leyline. Leyline Binding is not going to do that much here. Because my plan is going to be Urza Saga. Make token, make token. Very surprised they went with Lush Portico, so they couldn't cast Draco on two. Evidently, they did not want to Draco on two. The combining Mox Amber. Yeah, I didn't think they wanted to. Yeah, I can't Gorios again. If Atroxa got sacrificed instead of getting exiled. Gorios would be insane. More cookbook. I think the only thing I can get is cookbook, right? They're going to have to binding this. Attack you with my 5-5. Five five. Yeah, they got to snap off the binding on it. And two rhinos was worth a lot more than like one construct, right? At least in my opinion. What are you going to do? Attack me? And 
man who was attacked. I'm just going to untap these cookbooks. Lost memory unlocked. I don't think I'm going to go for the Emrakul here. Not worth. Violent Outburst. Double Trample Rhinos. You're telling me they have Trample and Trample? Can I grow this thing to be large enough to kill both of them? I can only grow it by three and not four. Bye, buddy. You're real. I just want to cast Reenact the Crime one time this league. And I have a feeling I'm not going to. I don't think it's going to happen. Don't they attack me with a rhino? They're attacking me with a rhino? What does this mean? I don't know what this means. Second outburst? Binding? Definitely don't need Rona right now. Ah, binding. I oh, baited that out. It probably means I'm okay just to like ever cool them, right? They have one card in hand. Do I know what it is? I have no idea what it is. I probably do, and I've looked at it. Oh, maybe we can surveil a thought seize to the top. That's a good idea. Oh, they're going to cast it? As long as it's not another Draco, because they could chump block, right? Now it's Rhinos. How are they down three minutes on clock? You're making Rhinos. No excuse. Not gonna surveil. It's wasting a click. Clicks are valuable. Make food. All right. What do we have against Rhinos? We're going to bring in the Gemstones. Because we're going to be on the draw. Breeding Pool out. Urza Saga out. Force Negation in. Defense Grid seems fine. Aether Spell Bomb, maybe? I'm going to go down and reenact the crime because it's pretty expensive. I'm just going to remove that card because I hate it. No, Mox Ember does not give you colorless mana, so if you have an Embercool in play, it's not going to make mana. Do I want more retraction helixes? Nah, I don't think so. I want the Haywire Might, actually. I take it back. After further revision. I don't know if I got that in in time. Because they're Leyline Rhinos, I need to exile the Leyline Binding. And, uh, Guild Pact. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's a little loose, but I think I'm probably pitching Helix out of this hand. All right, we got pregame actions. And needs a discard outlet or defense grid, I guess.
Maybe Defense Grid isn't good against Rainbow Rhinos because they can answer it so easily with Binding. That's a possibility as well. Cookbook wins me the game here. Rona wins me the game next turn. Yeah, I guess if they're spending the binding on the fence grid, then I'm pretty happy, right? Passing the turn, they have no actions. Cookbook! Cookbook! Hmm. Not cookbook. And we're about to discard the hand size. I imagine they're just gonna make rhinos. Maybe I was supposed to get the Surveil Land instead of casting Defense Grid that turn. If I got the Surveil Land that would bin this Gorios, it'd be one card deeper. Violent Outburst. Make Rhinos. See? Violent Outburst should have been a sorcery. Oh, it's Kabu. Okay. That's fine. I think Rhino is more powerful with Rainbow Rhinos. Probably. I think that the Leyline Scion stuff is really good. And I also think pivoting into Kabu is a good backup plan against all the Chalices and Engineered Explosives. So I would say, yeah, I think it's better than Teamer. Some people think that Teamer's better. But I mean, I kind of view Rhinos as like a high rolly deck. And if you can like high roll two different combos at the same time, one of them being Shardless Agent. And the other one being like, or one of them being Violent Outburst and the other one being Leyline Scion. I think it's probably more favored than just looking for Violent Outburst, right? But then it comes with the downside that you're vulnerable to Blood Moon. But all the good Blood Moon decks are kind of gone. No blocks. The only good Blood Moon deck is Team of Rhinos. I wouldn't even say Merc. That's a very good Blood Moon deck. It's fine. It can support Blood Moon. It prefers not to have Blood Moon on the table, though. Second Kabu. Let's go. Second Kabu. What goes wrong here? Nothing. Hammer cool them. Put them to one. Alright, looks like we're going to be 3-0 here. They were actually making Rhinos, they'd be in a better spot right now. A much better spot. Yeah. Alright, two more matches, chat. This opponent right here, I stole the list from them. Because their list is insanely good. I think I put back Urza Saga. I think this card sucks. But I don't know. I have not looted with it once yet. Yeah, the Surveil Lands are so good in Gorios. They're probably the best Surveil Land deck. Like, not close. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tainted Indulgence, Thought, Seize, Atroxa. It's going to take Tainted Indulgence. If they want to Thought, Seize me, they can take Gohar, it's fine. I'm just going to play Rizzo Saga and make Constructs. I don't know if they brewed it. I, don't, I mean, Atroxa's Gorios has been around for a little bit now. Nice, but Hall of Fountain. Oh, they can't Thought, Seize me. Yeah, that explains why they didn't. Their man is terrible.
they probably brewed their particular build. But the concept has been around for a while. And Tomb Land's good, and Tomb Land's very good. Legacy playable? No. Probably not. It would be cool if they were legacy playable. Gorios, Gorios. That's tough. Everybody hated them. Alright, I'm gonna get Gristle branded on if they draw a Black Source. Ephemerate. Gorios or Thoughtseize. Takes Gorios number two. No Black Source. Excellent. Thoughtseize. I wish that was better here. I can take one of the two Gorios from their hand. I don't even think it's worth it. Maybe I should just play Cookbook out. Make my constructs huge. I could double thought seize, sacrifice a Yugi Tarsh. Yeah, you're right, I can. It's a good call. I actually think I'm going to do that. Good line. I was gonna miss that one. Forgot that card has extra text on it. It's not just the looter. So down to one Gorios left. There's that last Gorios. That's so unfortunate. All four Gorios in the top 18. Pending my cookbook. Bye bye cookbook. Oh, Gorios. Oh, Mox Amber. Yeah, I guess so. This where Rona could combo kill him, right? I guess not. I would need more resources. Looking for thoughts, he's. Reenact the crime. Urza Saga's free. I think I want the Ember Cool as well. Then just whatever land. I want to Retraction Helix. What can I do with Retraction Helix? Anything cool? But did, I, did I forget to take Book? I might have forgotten to take Book. Oh well. We don't need a Book. Could have reenacted a Droxa. Also, I think I'm sure you're right. Because I got the reenact off of the Atroxa. I didn't get a cookbook. Oh, blue with sack trigger on the stack. It exiles it. You had four mana, but I got the reenact off of the Atroxa. I didn't use Saga. I floated the mana with Saga. To Gorios. Okay, but I'm confused. Like, what am I reenacting? There's nothing in the graveyard to reenact right now that's worth it. I could reenact Thoughtseize. Which might have been worthwhile over playing the cookbook. Attraction Helix is for comboing with, uh, what should we call it? The name's eluding me. Rona. 
combo with Rona, Mox Amber, and Retraction Helix. Make infinite mana. And get one loot. Okay, well, I have died. I need to dodge Black Source from them. Because now they're going to just draw into Grief. And then Grief me and take my Reenact. I think I can take that too. That works. Yeah, I needed to dodge that for one more draw step. I think this deck's just ours, but better. Okay, I concede. So we got Nile, Spell Bomb, Force and Negation, Ashiok, Defense Grid, even. I think I just gotta cut Atroxa like pretty much completely. I'll leave like one copy in. The Atroxa's not gonna be good enough. When they're also getting Atroxa's back, I think I need Emrakul to triumph them. Trump them. Okay, we're on the play. Um is I'm gonna keep it. It's almost there. Just missing Gorio as a reenact. And I could surveil to it. Which I think I'm going to do on turn one. Instead of playing Cookbook. So I want to play Defense Grid on two anyways. Now I could assemble the entire combo on three. It's being a little laggy. Reenact, I will keep it on top. Seems fine. Defense Grid Mox Amber Go. Alright, two ships passing in the night. Mine wins on four. We'll see if there's wins before turn four. Oh, they just scam me. X reenact, that's fine. Mending. Vince Troxa, Troxa. Mm. I think I'm just gonna make a construct. I could like play it. Cookbook. Discard Emrakul, play Asmo. Or discard land. I'm just gonna make a construct though. They have the Gorios plus the FM, right? I'll just concede. Maybe not concede. Guess we'll see. Gorios would still be pretty devastating for them. They'd have to start over. They did hit the FM, right? And they hit Thoughtseize as well. Yeah, their deck is just so cracked. God, it's so hard to beat. Because when they have FM right here, they're just going to grief me. God, grief is broken. But fury was the problem. Okay, they missed on grief. For now, anyways. Oh, they had it. <laughs> okay, I give up. I surrender. Nah, Grief is definitely the problem. Because Grief is still broken in Living End 2. And a deck where there's no Ephemerate. Jogmoth! Not sees you. Grist Halfling, Jogmoth. His hand's cracked. 
I'm gonna take Yawgmoth. I think I have a better chance of beating Grist. Asmo Cookbook. I think I'm just gonna play the one two. They're probably gonna minus and do it anyways. I get follow up with like cookbook Rona. I looter. I just realized I can probably never beat a soul cauldron. Gilded goose. I can beat a gilded goose though, I think. Emrakul wants to munch this board so badly. I'm gonna take a Mox Amber here. I'm losing a little value on him, but whatever. It might minus and kill the Rona. I had a Dodge Ogmoth for another turn. Hmm, they do minus. Okay, Grist down. Replacement Grist. Yeah, I think they're streaming the Apex team stuff. Peace out, Ashi. Thanks for hanging. Alright, second cookbook. I'm gonna lose my Asmo here. Do I wanna play cookbook? I don't think so. I think this is worse than Espergorios. Reenact is just not something I've fucking cast yet. <laughs> it's so expensive. Four mana so much. Whereas Espergorio is just so efficient. The only way I've killed people is by actually just Goriosing them. I have not cast Reenact the Crime a single time. All of my looters dying. Make food. Grist has killed four creatures now. These two Grists. That's six food gone. You know what? I should have eaten food with the Mox Amber here. Grist number three. Can we stop with the Grists? Now that draw lets me, I guess, bring back something with Cookbook. Yeah, four mana in this economy. Not where you want to be. I think I'm going to eat this food, though. This is a Gristocracy. Uh-oh. I think they drew Quarter Calling. I'm feeling like I'm dead. Yeah, I can't be quarter calling. Tuffy. So I'm going to need something against Soul Cauldron and Endurance. I think I want Haywire my Pithy Needle against Soul Cauldron. I don't want against Endurance. Ashok seems good too. Fatal Push is fine. Roxa seems lackluster. Reenact the Crime's fucking expensive. Uh, this thing dies. 
Reordain out, maybe? One Mox Amber out. Another one of the bad looters. Gorio is on Atroxa, so much more impactful if you actually just have Ephemerate. You have 90k on me? Mm. I'll remember your 90k. 07 for your 90k. How much are Mirrorxes? 2 bucks seems quite inexpensive. 8 bucks. That makes sense. I was he supposed to get modded? That's the neat part. You don't believe in me. That's how you get modded around these parts. Breaking news. Robot spacecraft lands on surface of the moon in historic US mission. Is this true? This hand's so mediocre it hurts. I'm gonna keep it. Minus 90k. Wow, they binned a soul cauldron. Huh, I don't think that bodes well for me. Why are we keeping this? Push, Saga. Haywire might kill soul cauldron. I can eat my Haywire Mod if they want. I think I gotta get rid of this like now. I gotta make Construct first, I suppose. And just like needled it. But needle's not a, a permanent answer for Soul Cauldron. Soul Cauldron is a card that we very much struggle to beat. A papa. Hapapa Baseju. Okay, I'm gonna push Hapatra still. I'm also gonna surveil. No swamp. There's a saga. Looter. Looter. So much looting. Dry Arbor, that's fun. So I can loot away land with Rona. Cast Asmo. Poe Masters. That'll be thing for the tier one in the nine months. Casting Rona before Bohar, it doesn't matter. I got news for you. It doesn't matter. It's got summoning sickness. What does matter is Dubby gifting a sub to Abstract Dramatic. Thank you, Dubby. I appreciate it. I don't appreciate my opponent, though. For having Bowmasters. Hey, W, thanks for gifting a sub to NBDF as well. Thank you. And another one. Batrida? Batradia? It's 400, we've done it. Cat ears. Ordered. Consider it done. Two days shipped. Glow in the dark, by the way. And thank you for gifting a sub to Forever Drain. No, no white mana. If you have an Atroxa out and you have a Mox Amber, then you have white mana. That's the only time. Yep, cat ears. 
Yogmoth. I wonder if I was supposed to hold this. Nah. I don't think it was ever right to, like, turn that into food. Maybe. I mean, they could have Cord Calling here. Cord for Rex Age. Wrist. Endurance. Probably not Endurance. Probably Rex Age. Wrist. They might just not be playing Rex Age. Some lists aren't. I think it's very clutch to have one of Rex Age against Curse Totem. That's just me. Dogmoth. Shield Druidum. Shield Druidum. Okay. Am I setting both of them or both at Can I transform Rona? Whenever it deals damage. And whenever a source deals damage to it, its owner exiles a card from their hand at random. If it's a land, you may put it on the battlefield, otherwise you may cast it up paying its mana cost. Oh, I think I'm sending both a Grist. I'm not going to flip it this turn and make more Construct tokens. And maybe like another food token. Or I could loot with Rona now. I hadn't even considered that. It's going to cost me two life, but it might be worth it. It's like make Saga token untap. Rona. Can dog ears be the next sub goal? Sure. I can do that. There it is. Take your poison enchantment. Two life for a loot. Yeah, I think I take it. Mm -hmm. Bowmasters. Always Bowmasters. It's never, hey, 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 Dingo, how you doing? So it's, hey, Dingo, archer you. What's you gonna do about it? Get archered. Make food. Or I could flip Rona. I kind of like flipping Rona and just setting team at them. Am I dead on the crack pack? Probably not. Am I going to count? Definitely not. I had to pay life first. Inconvenient. Okay, I do have to leave one back. According to my calculations. I gotta block Shelly. No, wait, hold on. Did I just die? I need to leave two back. I just died. My opponent sees the line. Block, block, take the damage here. Minus, sack. Attack me for six. I guess I can eat food my upkeep. Let him die to Shelly. So I should have swung with everything. Yeah, I should have swung with this as well. Opponent's thinking. Did they see themselves dead? Do 
You have died, opponent. Okay, well... Mm, I don't know how that happened. I think I want these gemstone caverns, though. Take out... Saga Dark Slick. Not sure I want Nile Spellbomb. I don't care for Nile Spellbomb against Yogg. Run it back. Well, I didn't have Flip Rona on my uh, bingo card, but I guess we'll take it. It was sweet. Cookbook go. I don't think I'm discarding anything here. Probably not my best interest. Hey, why am I? Exile cookbook. You fool, I have another cookbook. I think I'm still just playing Rona out, though. Another halfling. Okay, well, they would have died. They didn't exile my cookbook, so heads up play by them. Rona go. Praise no Yogmoth. Just Grist. Then I'm ahead of the three card Wombo combo. Soul Cauldron, that's tough. Well, if they Yog me, then they have a chance of drawing into Endurance. Soulless Jailer, too. Okay. Well. Cookbook go. Yeah, before with the prelim. Yeah, reenact the crime might get around jailer. Because it exiles it, right? Second cookbook. I think I'm just on the Urza Saga plan, though. I think that's probably my best way to win this game. And I can, like, Haywire Might the Soul Cauldron. The problem with that is that if I Haywire Might the Soul Cauldron, they can eat the Haywire Might and exile something combined as well. I'm gonna try to flip this Rona as well. Yeah, Helix is still in the deck as two of. So actually, I should hold on to the Emrakul, cool, right? Because if I draw a Helix, then I can just hard cast it. Let's try to loot for the Retraction Helix. I dislike giving them counters, but... They already have a Haywire Might in their graveyard. Court Calling. For Joggies. You gotta be jogging my moth. Are they Sack Soulless Jailer? What? I'm... Fucking astonished that they sacrificed Soulless Jailer. Just so that way they can get Young Wolf back. Makes more sense, I guess. I think I'm going on the Urza Saga plan here. Like I, I kind of have to, right? I don't know what else I can do here. More Emmy. And the Jailer was very OP here. But I'm surprised. 
Mm. No, they killed my saga. I can't get anything off of it. And the second Emmy goes to... Evidently me. I think this game's Jover. So now they're gonna get looters. I think you just like constantly loop this young wolf. You know, Soul Cauldron is kind of good with Rona. How come we're not playing Soul Cauldron? Yeah, this version is Esper but hard mode. Because you're playing uncastable stuff. That just sucks to draw. But you have to draw it. I think we have died. I'll let him go through the motions, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead. They have Blood Artist. Zulport. Shieldred. All of those kill me. Yeah, the other version's way better. I just want to play this because it was different, right? Different and unique, and I'm hydrating already. Before the thing even popped up. Okay, I concede. GG's. Sorry, believers. We tried. All right, chat. That's going to do it for me today. I appreciate y'all. Have you peaked? Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>